So, hey guys, um, we're going to start building the React Firebase that I showed you before. Okay, I'm going to show you the preview because I forgot it was using the same um, database as the Firebase and Redux, uh, React Redux and Firebase. So, I deleted that and I cannot show you the preview, but I have this video recorded. Okay, that is what we're going to build, so check that out. Also, um, I just added or I just created the this um, directory okay, with the application. What you need to do is create your folder. Okay, it's inside this folder, and use a git bash or whatever you want, and type npx create React app and the name of your app okay <coughs> and it will create um, an application with react okay also for that you need a node.js install um, i'm using version 12 okay but you can install 10 version 12 um, i installed that because angular 8 and all the new things uh, with angular require um, not version 12 and above okay so that's why i have this one installed so um here is how you can um run your npx create react app to create your app using react and we are going to start i think i'm going to start right now inside my application git bash I'm going to install um, React Raptor DOM. So let's install it. Control C. Let's see if this takes a while because it was taking a bit to create the project. <coughs> That's why I don't create that because in case I need to uh, do something else, I will create the, the project or configure it. We're going to start with Node and TypeScript also. So I'm going to upload some configuring videos that require me to you know install things and, and configure everything and creating the directories and all that but since this is just react we can actually just skip that part and you can start it however you want okay well of course using npx create a react app or building from scratch but since npx a create react app is easier just run that and with the name of your application and um, you will have your React project ready to go. So we just install the uh, routing. So it's open. It opens always there. Let me go to HTTP localhost 3000. Let's wait for that to open. It takes a little bit. Okay. It opens, so we have now a React app running, and this is the project that we are going to use um, as reference. So, as I said, we install the React Actor DOM that will allow us to create the routes, okay, to manage our routing. And we need to create now the Firebase. So, let's say React Firebase, just like that. Continue. Uh, we don't need anything uh, analytics, just create project and we can right click here and open with code to see what we have. <coughs> so we have our source and our application and we're going to start building in a second. So this shouldn't be um, a big project, I mean, in terms of um, videos. The last one was, I think, eight or nine videos. Um, this should be less than that, maybe five at most. So we need to register now an application uh, in order to use this connection to Firebase. So let's say React, React app, just like that. 
register it will give us our credentials and since we have this we are going to start building the configuration okay let me just minimize my OBS on my other screen so I can see my code and we're going to start creating a new folder here so we're, we're going to start right away let's call it Firebase inside source okay and we're going to create this config although it's going to um, contain all we need but let me move this again we need to start something else that is firebase so it's npm install firebase just like that let's wait for that to be installed it shouldn't take that long so right now we can use this and it will install that so let's actually start creating our once this is installed we are going to um, refresh the server and it should pick all the changes so let's um, use the same this file is similar to what we created with um, react and redux so we're going to do this okay we're going to import firebase app from firebase and import each a uh, part of firebase that we are going to use that is the authentication firestore and storage okay here we're going to create this constant that is called config and it's going to be equals to what we get here okay so you just copy this inside this firebase config just copy all this from api key to app id and let's paste it okay so this is going to uh, allow us to connect to firebase now let's create this class called firebase and We are going to import, not import, sorry, export this um, an instance of the class so we can use it. So now inside this, we are going to create a constructor that is going to. Um, okay, let me just do this constructor. It's going to allow us to manage um, our authentication and Firestore as a part of this class. So we're going to use um, okay, it's not there yet. It's taking a bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's my internet that is not um, fast enough right now. It's taking a bit. What the hell? What the fuck? I don't know. Okay, but we're going to uh, build this. Um, well, let's just keep it like that. Okay. While this is installed, we're going to create our first component or or structure. So let's say components. Let's wait for that to install. <coughs> we're going to create the components we need. Okay. It's installing. Okay. So it's already installed. So let's say npm start to start our, our application again. Okay, and let's continue with this. So we're going to have um, some components. Okay, okay, this thing is fucking with me. So let's say create that JS. That is the component that is going to allow us to create the posts. Now we're going to have a login.js okay let me minimize that my fucking phone okay and now we're going to create the main so this here we're going to create all the components uh, what did I create this thing it's not this is an SSI component main.js main.js okay so that's the third component 
we're going to record and now so I'm going to create it as a regular component since it's going to handle um, some you know uh, the authentication and the changes in the login and logout states so I'm going to set it like that so I'm going to create now the post JS that is the individual post and we need the sign in that JS. This is a similar structure that what we had in the React and Redux hooks. Okay, so now since this is installed and it's running, since Firebase is installed and the server is running, let's continue with what we have. Okay, with um, what we want to do here that is Firebase. Okay, that. Initialize app. That's this is what I wanted. I wanted to get Firebase installed, so we could um, use the intelligence. So let's say config. Here we pass our config, and we are going to set this that out to be equals to Firebase that out. Okay, this is a method, and this that in Firestore equals to firebase that firestore that is also a method okay so now we have a reference to out and firestore and we can use them along uh, the class okay so let me come back here let's open the console okay this should be uh, working fine and I'm not going to close that. I'm just going to say go to console. We don't have a database, so let's create that. I forgot to create that before. It shouldn't be any problem. Just to have this, okay, in case we face a problem, we will fix that. So no worries. Let's create the Firestore um, database. And we need to add the storage. Since okay, storage pocket. Okay, here we're going to add the storage. It's taking a bit. So I think we're going to start like we did before with the sign in and login. But I need this to be done. Because we need the database, we need to uh, create the instance of the storage that is created. So let's start next and ready. This should be uh, fast enough. So Um, okay, we're going to handle that in a second. Let's go to authentication. So uh, configure the this uh, thing, um, email and password. Enable the first one. Save. Okay, so we have uh, authentication enabled using email and password in our project. So we have everything. Oh, let's go to storage and we need to copy something from here. Um, no, sorry, storage. This thing we need to copy, control C and no, that's not it, and control V. So we need this. So now we have our configuration. We have anything done yet. But I think we're going to um, finish this first part here. So we have the configuration. We have the class um, added. We have Firebase um, installed. We, we have React Router installed. So, uh, and we have our components. So let's um, finish this one here and we will continue in the next one.